And I welcome you back to the Debrenic channel. Today we are talking about Lake Powell, Lake Mead, and Lake Havasu. We are doing a little update here and we'll be doing the weather at the end, so stick around for that. And with that being said, we are currently looking at Lake Powell's dashboard as we scoot on in here. And we are going right out to Lake Powell here. And you can see 2021, 2022, and 2023. And here is your line graphs. You can see that the white is 21, the yellow is 22, and this is 2023. Your current water level is 3,524.17 feet MSL, and this was Sunday, January 22nd, 2023 at 12 a.m. The level is 175.83 feet below full pool of 3,700, and your changes since yesterday, this lake hasn't come up, it hasn't gone down, it stayed neutral, and that's where we stand so far as of right now, and we continue to roll on out, and your full pool is 3,700, and this is what's gone on in the last three years in 2021 the level was 3578.01 on this date last year was 3533.23 today's level is 3524.17 and we continue to scoot and we check your inactive pool and your inactive pool is always 3490 and your dead pool is 3370 and we continue to roll on lake pal is down at 9.06 feet from one year ago lake pal is down 54.84 feet from two years ago lake pal is 34.17 feet from inactive pool and lake pal is 154.17 feet from dead pool and we continue to scoot on down your storage acre feet at lake pal is 5,497,276 capacity is 24,322,000 feet lake pal is 22.60 feet of full pool and we go out to Lake Mead's dashboard next. Here we are at Lake Mead's dashboard and we go right out to the line graph. Everybody loves the line graph and we start in at your line graph. 2021's in the white, 2022's in the yellow as a viewer suggested I should do so I did that. 2023 is in the blue for this year. Your water level is currently 145.99 feet MSL. Monday, January 23rd, 2023 at 4 p.m. The level's 183.01 feet below full pool of 1,229 and changes since yesterday has 0, 0.0 feet. Another one where the lake hasn't come up or gone down at Lake Powell or Lake Mead. Very odd, but that is what's going on at those two lakes currently and we continue to scoot on down. We go to see what is happening in the last three years. Your full pool is 1,229 and on this date in 2021, the level was 1,085. 5.43 last year was 1067.19 and today's 1045.99 your inactive pool is always 950 and your dead pool is 895 and we continue to roll to see what the comparisons are as we roll out here you can see one year ago the water level was 39.44 feet higher two years ago the water level was 21.20 feet higher inactive pools 95.99 feet from inactive pool and Deadpool is 150.99 feet away so that is what's going on there and we continue to roll on out to your inflows and your outflows your current inflows are 10,276 and your current outflows are 8,300 Lake Mead is up 0.82 feet over the last 14 measurements and we continue to go on down to your storage capacity and your storage acre feet is 7 million 392,000 acre feet capacity at full pool is 25,877,000 that leaves Lake Mead at 28.57% of full pool and we roll out to Lake Havasu's dashboard and we will start over here and you can see that the red is 21 the orange is 22 and the blue is 23 and we go to your dashboard this is your current dashboard and let's go see what the water level currently is the water level is currently 4 448.92 feet MSL Monday, January 23rd, 2023 at 5.30 p.m. The level is 3.92 feet above full pool of 445. Changes since yesterday, absolutely nothing. It's weird. This is like the first time I think this has ever happened on any reports that I have given.
happen. No changes at any of the lakes. Three lakes that I've done, Lake Powell, Lake Havasu, and Lake Mead. None of them have gone up or down. All of them have stayed neutral. Let's continue to roll out. Your full pool level at Lake Havasu is 445 feet, and you can always see that it's above always at Lake Havasu. I'm not sure. The top of the spillway is 450, so it never goes above that. In 2020, the level was 447.82. Last year was 447.83, and today's a little bit higher at 448.95. Your inactive pool is 440. Your dead pool is 400. You are up 1.12 from one year ago the lake is up from two years ago 1.13 and your power loss is currently 8.95 feet away from power loss and your dead pool is 48.95 feet away from dead pool let's see what the inflows and the outflows are at lake havasu your current inflows are 5750 and your current outflows are 5510 lake havasu is up 0.93 feet in the last 14 days and with that being said let's roll out to windy.com and see what's going on next here we are in windy.com and you can see over the next three days a little bit of precipitation for colorado this is what feeds all these lakes all the way down to havasu and over to california so this is very crucial to what happens we go the next five days and you can see zero seven tenths of an inch and you had an inch there very little in colorado a lot in Wyoming so some of this will make it to the Colorado some of it will not we continue to the next 10 days and the next 10 days it lights up a little bit better 0.64 let's go to new snow new snow six inches eight inches this is good news look at Salt Lake City 9.7 so we'll be watching to see if this comes to pass this will be good if it does hard to say if it will look up here by the flaming gorge up here I did a whole in-depth Colorado River update just Saturday so if you guys want to check that out you can 11.6 this is really good news and let's see what the gfs is doing by comparison they're calling for a lot of snow too 10.4 so we'll see which one wins out it's really hard to say it's quite a long way out so we'll see if this comes to pass here this would be really good if it does this will definitely help with the snow precipitation let's go look at the snow depth currently and your snow depth is not too shabby it's not like it is in california but we'll scoot in here like steamboat Springs 44.8, Glenwood Springs 3.78, Grand Junction 9.2. We come over to Aspen and you have 44.1. We come down to Tell You Ride 44.5. This is really good. Montrose over here 16.4, Cortez down here 21. But check this out from Tell You Ride all the way over towards Lake Navajo, you have a good 50 plus inches. So that's fantastic news. Let's go up north up here to the beginning of the Green river 46.7 so even lake pal has a little bit of precipitation one inch or so we go over to page page has three inches in just to the south of canab over here you have 38 inches so that's really good news down here you have 8.8 .8. over at st george you have a little 0 0.2 cedar city 39 and canab itself has 5.2 and just to the north of canab you have 47 inches and then over here by salt lake city just to east of salt lake city you have 40 inches and over here you have 53 so flagstaff flows into lake mead so they have 34 so tuba city has 2.5 so you have a little bit of snow here you are above normal but you're not where you want to be you definitely need a whole lot more to come we'll be watching this over the course of several days and see what happens and that's all i have for tonight thank you guys for stopping by everybody have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one god bless